Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to schedule automatic backup in Windows Server 2022. Full server backup backs up the operating system, applications and all the data associated with it. Do this if you have tons of critical data and applications. This option is helpful to restore the entire server when needed. If you are a system administrator, backing up the server you manage is vital to prevent the loss of important data. Configuring periodic backups allows you to restore the system in case of unexpected event such as a malfunction of the hardware components. In the previous video, we saw the steps to manually take a full server backup of Windows Server 2022 domain controller. In this video, we want to automate the same task by using schedule backup option in Windows Server Backup. We can use the Windows Server Backup to quickly and easily schedule backups of the entire server and specific storage volumes, files or folders. Scheduled backups are convenient and ensure that your data is regularly backed up without requiring manual intervention. For this demo, we have single domain active directory forest named msftwebcast.com. We have two Windows Server 2022 domain controllers in our domain. This is our root domain controller SRT22-DC01. We want to schedule a backup of this domain controller. First, we are going to install the Windows Server Backup feature. This time, we are going to use Windows PowerShell to install Windows Server Backup feature on this server. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. At PowerShell, type cmdelete get Windows feature Windows server backup. Check the install state. If it says available, it means the Windows Server Backup feature is not installed. Type cmdelete install hyphen windows feature windows hyphen server hyphen backup and press enter to install windows server backup feature on the server. It will take a few moments for the installation to complete. The installation has been completed successfully. Restart is not needed. Once it has been installed, you can run the get hyphen windows feature command again to verify its install state. As you can see, it says installed. So we have successfully installed Windows Server Backup feature on our domain controller. Now next, let's open the Windows Server Backup utility. On Server Manager, click on Tools and select Windows Server Backup. Click on Local Backup. Right click Local Backup and select Backup Schedule. To create a backup schedule, you should decide what to backup when and how often to backup your server and where to store the backups data. On getting started page, I'm going to click on next. Select the type of configuration you want to schedule, full server or custom. The full server backup will backup all your server data, applications and system state. Use the custom backup to select what you want to backup. Click next to go to the next page. You can set the backup time as you want on specify backup time page. Here you can set once a day or more than once a day. Keep in mind that Windows Server Backup only allows you to create one daily backup schedule. For anyone who wants to create multiple scheduled backup tasks like a weekly backup for your OS and a monthly backup for the entire disk, you have to use third party tools. We can also use Task Scheduler to customize backup schedules. We will choose to have it start a full backup every night at 11 pm. There will be one full backup, then 14 incremental backups. Windows Server Backup automatically handles the full and incremental backups. No additional configuration is needed. Now I'm going to click on Next. You should choose a destination to store the backup data. You can schedule backup to a hard disk, a volume or even a network shared folder. If you have more than one disk on your computer, 
you can select to backup to the other local disk. For this demo, I have attached a dedicated hard drive to store the backup data. In this example, we will select first option, backup to a hard disk that is dedicated for backups. After selecting the destination storage, click next to continue. Click on show available disk, choose the available disk and click OK. Again choose the disk and click next. Please note that once selected, the hard disk in question will be formatted. So remember to move any existing data to another hard disk before starting. Click Yes to use the selected disk. The confirmation section shows a summary of the backup settings you have chosen. If you are okay with it, then click Finish to schedule the backup. Click on Finish. Currently, it is formatting disk and then creating the backup schedule. We can see the confirmation message, you have successfully created the backup schedule. Click on close to close the window. You will see that a new schedule backup is configured on this server. We are all set for the backup to start tonight at 11 pm. Later on, if you want to modify the settings on scheduled backup, click on backup schedule. On this page, you have the option to modify the schedule or permanently stop the backup schedule from running. I'm going to click on Cancel to close it. As I have mentioned earlier that we can customize the backup schedule using Task Scheduler. Let's tweak few settings of the scheduled task. Search for Task Scheduler. Click on Task Scheduler to open it. Now let me maximize it. Expand Task Scheduler Library. Expand Microsoft, expand Windows, and then click on Backup. You will see the Windows Backup Schedule task under Backup. Right click the Schedule task and select Properties. On the General tab, ensure the task is running as a system account and change the configure for the correct operating system. We are using a Windows Server 2022. So that is what we have to select. Now go to Settings tab. Check the box to allow the task to be run on demand. You can change the task to stop running if it runs longer than the specified period. For example, let's select 4 hours. You can modify these settings as per your requirements. For this example, I have changed a few settings of the scheduled backup task. Click OK. That completes the changes for the scheduled task. If you want, you could right click the task and run it from here. You can check the status of backups, disk space used and much more in backup utility. That's all for this video on how to schedule automatic backup in Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, Please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.